We asked, uh, we asked Peter Mukherjee to come on the news hour this evening, and he replied to our Bureau Chief Shantanu that he's busy and in a meeting. I don't know what meeting he's in. Uh, and then he said, I won't be free at 9 o'clock. Uh, we are still trying to get him live. Sohail say it is managing partner of Council Edge. His link to this particular case specifically is that he's the person who was instrumental in Indrani and Peter Mukherjee getting married. So he's very close to both of them. Uh, Ravina Raj Kohli is former president of Star News, a very, very high-flying television executive. And she worked directly with Peter Mukherjee, uh, who was CEO of the Star Network. Wasbi Rusen is consulting editor of Times Now, following this from Guwahati. Uh, from Guwahati today, we have two friends of uh, Sheena Bora, very close, and they have a lot to share tonight on what happened, and I thank them for coming today. Uh, their names are Arnab Sigdar and Mohsin Rahman. Arnab and Mohsin, thank you for coming. Uh, Indrajit Bhardwaj is a childhood friend of Sheena Bora. No. And across India this evening, so many people are tweeting saying justice for, justice for Sheena. Indrajit, thank you very much. Uh, Hello, sir. I'd like to start with you, Arnab. You know, a lot of things don't add up in this case. We want to know what was happening before the murder happened. Can you, can you tell us anything more about what you know about what could have led to the murder, what the motive is probably for a mother murdering her own child? Yeah, Arnab, the... I, I met Sheena, uh, it was, it will be on the year 2010, that was the last time I met and after that we still had contact through like, you know, Facebook and cell phone. Uh, although she seemed really happy but I can feel that something is different, something has changed with Sheena. Like I didn't, I could have never imagined this could have led to such a terrible thing. But although, even if it doesn't seem that it has any issues to do with property or anything else, rather than, you know, uh, it's just, it's just some, some kind of, you know, honor killing at the end of the day. That's what I feel like. Why do you say honor killing, Arnav? Why, why do you so, say honor killing? Is there something you know? Yeah, I can't hear you. Why do you say honor killing? Yeah, because we, uh, I've, I've, I've heard rumors about like uh, Sheena dating Rahul Mukherjee. We, we knew about this in our own friend circle, even though I got little information from Sheena that she was dating Rahul Mukherjee, Peter Mukherjee's son, which her mother was really not like fond of, you know. And uh, again, we knew that her mother won't give, recognize her as a daughter, won't recognize her, like she would obviously introduce her like her step, uh, step sister to everyone. That's also we were hearing, even though I didn't ask Sheena all about it. Sheena was really happy when the last time she came to Guwahati, that was, that will be 2011. No, it didn't seem that she was in a very, she was in some kind of depression or tension. That didn't, it didn't seem like that. But suddenly we heard of a disappearance. We heard that she went to US for studies and a lot of other things, you know? Yeah. So but it's bizarre. Does, does, doesn't, 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 doesn't add up at all, you know? Uh, what really could have led to this? What's yeah, been, what are we hearing about the motive? Uh, that's it. Like, how can a person be so hurt? or like so cruel that she can't like take in the idea and the fact that her her own daughter like having an affair with her step brother I don't know can it be such a big issue that she will be killed for this I have no idea you know there but are there are so the many there are so many I... questions so many questions which emerge out here the basic question is what about Peter Mukherjee now so let me come to you how could Peter Mukherjee not have known that his own, you know, family member disappears, who he thinks is his wife's daughter from an earlier marriage. She just disappears, and Peter Mukherjee does nothing about it after that. He just acknowledges the disappearance and doesn't lift a little finger to find out where she could have gone. Suhail. You know, Arunab, uh, there are three things that you've talked about today. 
Number one was Peter's uh, ignorance of the facts of the matter. Number two, the fact that Mikhail didn't raise an alarm or a public outcry against the fact that they were being deprived of their lineage by Indrani. And the third, that the grandparents remained completely silent about a missing grandchild. I can't believe that uh, someone in a relationship uh, with a particular lady doesn't know enough about her background. But having said that, we, friends of both Peter and Indrani's, never ever knew that she had a son and a daughter from a previous marriage. We didn't even know she had a previous marriage. We knew of one marriage, which is a marriage to that Kanna gentleman in Calcutta. We knew about one daughter and we knew nothing more. I didn't uh, see any of her relatives uh, at, the, at the wedding uh, which Peter and Indrani had in Bombay. I hosted a reception for them in Delhi. I didn't see any relatives. There was no mention of anyone except for Vidhi. So I find this pretty murky and pretty weird that someone, and as you rightly said, in a relationship with a woman who shares your bed in your home and you don't even know and there's no basic due diligence. No, no, no. Having said that, I don't think Peter is the kind of person who would lie about not knowing this. So no, we'll have to I, wait I for the investigations it, Sohail, to Sohail, unravel I, I'm sorry to come in. I, I find it, I, what I find bizarre out here, and I want to bounce that off Ravina Raj Kohli because she's worked with Peter Mukherjee and she knew Indrani Mukherjee, Mukherjee also very well, is that Peter Mukherjee says he never took up the issue of discussing where Sheena was and where she disappeared with Indrani since it was a sensitive issue. Sensitive issue? For three years, someone just disappears after living in your house and she's going around with your own son and she just disappears into thin air and no, Peter Mukherjee doesn't raise the issue because he thinks it's a sensitive issue. Ravina Raj Kohli, I mean, this is proving to be a real murder mystery, but that's the one question which I can't put my finger on. What do you think, Ravina? I can't put my finger on that either, Arnab. It's impossible for a husband not to question where his sister-in-law went. It's impossible for a family member to go missing and him not ask his wife. He said in an interview to your channel earlier that uh, his son Rahul had mentioned and had got upset with him about the disappearance of Sheena and uh, they had confronted Indrani and, and they put it all to rest. Now I don't understand yeah. how could someone like uh, allegedly Indrani be as manipulative to be able to manipulate the situation in such a way that a person could disappear and her own husband wouldn't continue to question it. I find that astonishing. What, you, you know Indrani, what is she like? Would you suspect her of doing, carrying out a murder like this? You worked with her, presumably. You've known you her professionally and personally. Of murder. I, I, I didn't work with her. She burst onto the scene in our lives at Star very early when I was at Star. And, right. and got her way in many, many matters. Um, some of us what do you felt a uh, little bit sorry for Peter at the time. Well, she set up a business, got um, uh, human resource uh, related contracts. She, uh, you know, started off her INX HR consulting business at the time. And in a weak moment, she had mentioned to me that she had had a very unhappy previous life. She talked about the fact that she had got pregnant very young, she said, with Vidhi and the little daughter who was there at the marriage. There was no question or, and there was no conversation about a previous life before that. She seemed almost pitiful at the time at some, in, in, in some instances, but also very, very sure of what she was doing. And we saw Peter turn from a sensible man into, you know, he went a bit blub, to be very honest. And um, I think she worked her way around the system very, very well to her advantage and got her way exactly the way she wanted. How can, uh, how can a husband not know that the young lady who's living in your house is not your wife's stepsister but her own daughter I mean either Indrani I Mukherjee know. had a fantastic says he yeah. doesn't know them there, there, there must be something more to this because it is impossible for a husband not to know I mean I'm I'm shocked and I feel very sorry for Peter today if he doesn't didn't know for 15 years that he was married to somebody who was conning him all the way through if indeed she has been uh, it's well, it's so shocking that all of us who worked in the industry cannot even imagine how somebody as astute and as sensible in many ways as Peter could have fallen for this. Now this is, this is the reason I, we are talking about this today is because this is a well calculated, very, very cold, very strategically planned killing. 
there are some reports, and I don't know if Arnab mm. or uh, Mohsin or Indrajit know more about it, that she was under pressure for some time. There was some, there was some issue that was causing her distress. There was fight between Indrani and Sheena, who was anyway having a terrible life because she would go to the whole world and say, I am Indrani's daughter when she knew that she was a... I am Indrani's sister when she knew that she was a daughter. But there was pressure that was building on her over a period of time and that she had also left Mumbai on a couple of occasions to escape that pressure cooker situation. But now let me share a, one bit of information and I want Mohsin and Indrojit to come in on this. Our information is that she digitally sent an email resignation in May 2012. Now she is murdered in April. In May 2012, Mohsin and Indrojit, somebody emails her resignation from a company where she was working as an assistant manager, which means somebody who had access to her email sent her resignation letter after killing her. Now, if that is Indrani, that is the coldest murder that we could have thought of. It's also a murderer's overconfidence. Mohsin, Mohsin any reactions to that? Did you know about this at all? Her disappearance, anyone speaking no, no. on her behalf, Mohsin? No, no, not at all, not at all. No, no, totally ignorant of this fact. Totally ignorant of this fact. Just when did you last speak to her? Right totally I suppose her brother fact. Mikhail would know that thing. Yes, Indrajit? Yeah. We are not aware of this thing, but I suppose <coughs> her brother Mikhail would be aware but of I'm this not. thing because he knows each and everything and he was very close to his mother. He was very close to Indrani? More than she And yet, no. No, no, yes, no, yes. nobody tried. No, 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 but nobody tried to find out. Somebody has sent an email resignation of a person who is dead. Who could it be if not Indrani? The, presumably, the only person here who could have had a reason and was trying to, you know, close down all the fingerprints out here, clear up the tracks after murdering is potentially Indrani. Indrajit, what do you know about Sheena and what could have led to this and the murder? Any clues from your own memories? Arnab, this is like, if I say then this would be a honor killing. It's just because we knew that we were aware of this thing or her affair going with Rahul and all the facts. And after that, her mom introducing her own daughter as her sister back there in Mumbai. So this this is the case and how can she would stay, how, how would she stand like her own daughter being in relationship with her own stepson. An honor killing. I suppose this is the main motive of the murder. And an and, yeah. and honor killing. Now, if that is an honor killing, now let me tell you, Sohail and, and Ravina, I'd like to go back to you. If it is an honor killing, an honor killing in, the fa in one of the most high-profile families of Mumbai, in a family which has launched one of the biggest networks in India, an honor killing, if that were to be the case, then really, you know, this, this would be the most sensational case. Yes, uh, but what worries me so well is that in three years, no person stood up and asked where Sheena Bora was. In three years, there was no attempt made by anyone to contact her. In three years, there was nobody noticed a complete absence in, the in a digital space. I spoke to so many friends of Sheena's, and they said they were trying to find out where they were. But there was an attempt to just close down the tracks and Peter Mukherjee, Indrani Mukherjee and all of the people around were successfully managed to just cover up this cold-blooded murder, Sohail. If this is the way influential families use their influence, it really shocks me. Yes, Sohail. See, there are three things. <clears throat> there are a couple of things, some of which you've identified. The cover-up is not three years. The cover-up is 24 years. She was killed when she was 24, ostensibly. For 24 years, if you can play a charade of not being able to own up to your own parents is in itself a travesty of justice. Number two, you've rightly articulated, for the last three years, where were these friends who are holding candlelight vigils today? Were they so consumed by the lie that ostensibly Indrani had spread that they didn't want to question Indrani? Where were the grandparents who couldn't question where this missing grandchild has gone? So what it, what, it really trans, what it really mounts up to is not honor killing or not. It is about someone wanting 
to no, no, prevent second, herself ahead, from losing that space in society that she had engineered for herself through Indrajit marriage. Indrajit wants to respond to you. Yes, Indrajit. Sir, sir, we went down to her place, we tried to inquire about her and we were not allowed to enter the house also, her grandparents' house. Me and Arnav, we went together. Even her brother also lied about her. He told that he, she was in NY working for so a bank. Indrajit. <coughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, we tried so to contact Indrajit, her on Facebook but we didn't Indrajit, get any response. Friend, the question... So therefore the key question is, if you are not given a satisfied, satisfied answer, if you're not even allowed through the door, don't you raise an alarm. But forget you. I mean, I can understand as friends, there's only this much and no more that you can do. But what about the entire support system around them? What about the fact that those friends came knocking at the Mukherjee household door and that even Peter didn't realize that it was important enough an issue for him to address? So the situation is pretty alarming no, no, or not, but, uh, and you first, talked about no, it in no, the opening second, remarks okay, of, your, okay. of this program. Okay, one it's second. not about oh, oh. how influential yeah, 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 people yeah. live. Okay, Arnab Sikdar responding to yeah, you, yeah, Sohel. Yeah, the friends have tried, Sohel. Yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. say this. It's the, about the how friends they have really tried. And, and the friends are up against we a very, tried, very influential tried. Mukherjee family. Yes, Arnab. Exactly. Yeah, we tried. Yeah. The, but the whole fact was that we never knew who were, like, who her parents were. The only thing, like, we knew was that she, she had two guardians and that those were her, like, grandmother, grandfather. Like, even though we went to the house, the only response that I got is, like, we also don't really know where is Sheena. Yeah. Maybe she is in Calcutta. Then our friends who tried to help Sheena because they knew that she was going through some circumstances mm -hmm. and then she... We asked them, she also, they don't even know where, where she was. I went to her brother. She said, she may be, she is in a rehab in Pune. Yeah. And that's what the answer was. And I was actually like thinking, then I really, I, I don't you know? Because, and like she, he, uh, Mikhail was like, no, she was having a big, uh, she was having a clash with her mother. And her mother, she is, I think she has put her in a rehab. That's the thing we, we got to know. For the first one year, like I think that was 2012. The only answer. Or no? Where's her first like husband? In the US. Yeah. Well, well there is. That's there, the, there, 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 there. Then, and, 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 if I may say, that is this man. Yes, Ravina, 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 Ravina. Yes. Yes. Arnab. Where is? My view on the matter is there was a lot of business and there was a lot of weird business involved even in the INX media, we all know it. I just got off the net and read a very interesting article by Avi Ruksen where he's talked about mysterious resignations happening even at the INX media uh, uh, in, the, in the offices, etc, etc, etc. Doesn't this reek of something more than just honour over here? I don't understand where the honour lies in this matter. I think it's more than that. What about the money angle? No, no, no. It, no, can could, only be could, to hide a, it is the money. Hide a really nice life. Yeah, I think yes, it's all about money. Yeah, money and I think is everybody is all about thing. money. Yes, in this money market. is the thing. But money I, is also the you? question. And that, the that really should be the investigation. Uh, or not? Arnab Sikdar, can I ask you something? Arnab and, yeah. and Mohsin, this question yeah, yeah, is to yeah, you yeah, in Guwahati. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, there, there were some reports that some of the friends, and you can confirm this, tried to find out yeah. where she was, how she disappeared. You know, how can a person just disappear like this and not be found? And there were some threats yeah, yeah, yeah. that they got in turn. That some friends were trying to help and they were threatened. Can you know any information like that? Yeah. We have to tell you right now, even though we are not supposed to, you know, they are also our friends. We don't want any of their lives to be in peril, you know, after this happening, you know, at the end of the day. So, but I would like to tell you, there are close friends of Sheena, more closer than us. You know, there are like, there are some girls that are closer to Sheena and they actually tried to get Sheena out of the situation. They said, don't go back to your home, stay with us, you don't have to, you don't belong there. That's not your place. But again, they were threatened. Don't, don't, in, don't interfere in our family matters, or you know, the, you can get, you, we can do hell to you at the end of the day. So they threatened by whom, are not at the end of the day, they are also threatened by whom, are not threatened by. I don't know. Threatened by, I don't know. But they are, they really, they are paranoid. I can tell you that they are really paranoid. No, who, the is then, who is they? Who is they? 
They, they, she paranoid? has closest friends. She has closest friends. No, they are paranoid, but who was issuing the threats? Was it some hired goons? Was it known people? Was it Indrani Mukherjee? Who? Who? Who can be? But maybe, uh, maybe, maybe. maybe, maybe. It's Indrani Mukherjee. Uh, uh, hired, goons, hired goons can be someone else of higher authority. But we are not totally. Uh, uh, we, we don't know not exactly aware who, aware. who they were. Who, whom should we refer as they? We are not at a point to know who are they. But uh, last year, the same thing has been uh, tickling my mind. Last year, we tried to contact with Mikhail and get to know about her, hear, uh, hear about where is she now, how is she. We just came to know the fact that she uh, she has resigned from the from her previous job in Mumbai and she just uh, shifted to uh, US. She got a bank job in uh, New York and she so right now she is in uh, US. Yeah. So when I was inquiring, Mikhail, you being a brother, you being a, she being a, being a, her, your elder sister, you just have to inquire more on this side. Where is she? How is she? She is no, not in Facebook. She isn't contacting any of us, not texting us. Where is she? Where is she? Then Mikhail used to say that, yeah, she is totally absconding. Like even I don't know. Even when I go to inquire about her in Bombay, of people who knows us, they say that she is in U.S. She is in U.S. <laughs> working for a bank. And also, Mikhail just uh, told me uh, told me a fact that, yeah, uh, maybe three four years down the lane, uh, both of them, uh, she was especially Shina, she was put into a uh, mental asylum, mental asylum in Pune. I was told, what? I was informed of this. I was told this by Mikhail himself. Yeah, she now was she now seems to be a mental asylum this, this, in Pune. This 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 seems told. to be. This seems to be a gigantic cover-up, oh, no. and and I'd like to add one point to this. The reason this is gaining prominence, and if people are asking who is Indrani Mukherjee, you're probably listening to this and saying who's exactly yeah, is Indrani Mukherjee. I just want to give a little background for our viewers. Indrani Mukherjee and Peter Mukherjee are the founders of the INX TV network. Some channels went kaput, some are still yeah, around. Yeah. She, she started she started this mm. network along with Peter Mukherjee. And they started, uh, among others, the News X channel. So someone who founded a news channel called News X uh, is now, you know, in this bit of a controversy. Now, the point to be made is this. Uh, th there seems to be a sense of denial we are facing here because this problem comes up consistently, Wasbir, that when very high-profile cases come up, and I'm not talking about anyone on the panel, but a certain section of society responds with a sense of disbelief. Oh, no, one among us, impossible, so close, somebody we knew, these things don't happen in the elite Very parts true. of our society. This was the response, if I may say, when Arushi happened. This was the response yep. when Sunanda Pushkar was murdered. Absolutely. This was the response when the charges were put against Tarun Tejpal. And these are the, this is the exact response which is happening in the case of Indrani Mukherjee. A sense of disbelief. Oh, no. Can't happen. How can it be? But uh, repeatedly these cases come to light. Talks about a bigger, bigger potential danger of using influence to cover up. We haven't heard many, the end of many of these cases yet. Yes, Wasbir, any more leads? You are absolutely right, uh, Arnav, but what is most interesting is that uh, there is a disbelief, as you said. But Mikhail, the Indrani's son, when was asked whether he could believe that his mother could indulge in such or carry out such a crime, he didn't even bat an eyelid and he, he simply said yes. She could. So that very, very statement by Mikhail Indrani's son and Sheena Bora's own brother, uh, I mean, it speaks volumes because, uh, I mean, the way he said that his mother could indulge in such a crime, uh, in fact, it was a big giveaway. And uh, that actually reflects whether he has a lot more to tell. And what is surprising, Arnob, is that I just spoke a little while ago to the police commissioner in Guwahati. His Mumbai counterpart, the Mumbai police, has not yet contacted the Assam police and has not made it any effort to come to Guwahati or send a team to inquire into Shinabora's friends or family members because his grandparents are alive, uh, they, they are in bed ailing and uh, Mikhail of course has been talking to the media during the morning, of course he has shut off himself during the afternoon. So these are little curious things or not which needs further probe really to get to the bottom of the things and also the question is to who is Indrani's first husband? Uh, we know that Peter Mukherjee is the third husband, one of the husbands have been arrested but there is Correct. another That's one the who issue. apparently she had met this uh, Peter Mukherjee. It was, uh, is it a, was is Mr. Third it was Mr. Das. He was he used to work in Jamshedpur, in a steel company. Sheena's real father. 
It was some Mr. Das who used to work in a steel company in Jamshedpur. So where is he? That's Sina's real father. Yeah, sit down, sit down, sit down. So where, where is he? Where is he? The last time we, the last time I met, the last time I met Shina's biological exactly. father was way back in 2001. After that, we did never met him. You yeah, know, while this, while this, there's there are two angles to this. One is, uh, here's this lady Indrani Mukherjee. She and Peter Mukherjee launched the Iron X network, launch a news channel called News X and are very high profile members of the social circuit of Mumbai. At one point, the toast of the cocktail circuit, high profile television executives. And how is it possible that a murder of this scale happens? My concern tonight, greatly, Ravina and Sohail, is about the wide conspiracy of silence for three years. And today, the Mumbai police says she was killed on April 24, 2012. Absolutely. How is it, Sohail, how is it, Indrani, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, Ravina, that nobody even asked a single question? I mean, Who do you I, know, property my, goes my missing, we file complaints, a person goes missing, and the police doesn't but know in, in this, in this day and age. Arno, uh, it's but, incredible. Arnab, I want to understand one but, thing. Listen, if she has indeed can you imagine killed China, if that driver... and she has fled to England, so one sec. If she has fled to England after the INX debacle, and she has killed uh, her own daughter in the last three years, why has she come back? I mean, is there this huge, big arrogance of power over here that I am untouchable? Or is it just yeah. incredible stupidity? They were in Spain. She has a house in Spain. They were in Spain over the summer. And she went to great lengths to tell some common friends about how innocent she was in the whole INX matter and how what a lovely person she was, etc. She had comments to make about everybody, is what I've heard. Now, this is all hearsay. But I want to understand if you have committed such a heinous crime, you have been wanted for all kinds of funky dealing in, in your previous business, what goal do you have to come and face society and send somebody like me a Facebook request, which I promptly, of course, did not accept? I don't understand this arrogance of power. What is it that is happening in our society? Well, I mean, you know, you know it's, it is arrogance of power. You're absolutely right. It's a feeling we're going to get away with it. Yeah. We're going to settle things out. Maybe yes. we, it's a feeling we have powerful yes. friends. We can, if we manage things so far, yeah. maybe we can completely... So what? Yeah. If, if, if we Hello. killed our own daughter in the process. Yes, please. I think, Sohel, before you come yeah. in, I think Mohsin Absolutely. wants to add something yeah, yeah. there. Sohel, I'm coming to you. Yes, Mohsin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy with the fact that the sentence, arrogance of power, that makes a definite judgment, you know, that brings to this case, arrogance of power. Power makes people go crazy at any time. Might be you, might be me. Anyone sitting in a higher chair, sitting, sitting at a higher point of authority, sitting at the pinnacle of success can get a arrogance, of, arrogance of power. If uh, Sh Shina's body was found in Raigal forest area and the police, the car police station, they informed that uh, she was murdered in 2012, then 2013, 2014, the first half of this year, 2015, so many months passed by, 30, 36 months passed by. What were all the people doing? What were the police doing? What were the cops doing? Now, how this thing comes up in the limelight? Absolutely. These two, three years, two and a half years, how these years have flown by? How these you years know, have flown by without anyone, can, anyone suspecting you, anybody or something like that? You know, I think Peter Mukherjee is cutting our calls. I'm placing it on record. We tried our best to reach him. Now, Mr. Mukherjee, if you have nothing to hide, come and talk to us. Tell us what happened. Tell us how come, how come, Mr. Mukherjee, you never asked any questions. How come this was, you never took up the issue? How come you accepted Indrani's version? unquestioningly, despite the fact that Sheena lived with you in Mumbai, despite your son telling you that Sheena is actually Indrani's daughter, you never once questioned Indrani. You didn't smell something fishy, Peter Mukherjee. I wish you were on the news hour tonight. I would have asked you. You didn't smell anything fishy. You launch a news channel. You don't smell anything fishy when, when you haven't met Sheena for three years and didn't verify whether she was in the U.S. or whether she'd been cut up into pieces and her body burnt somewhere outside Mumbai. I just find it bizarre, that Mr. Mukherjee, that you're cutting our calls tonight. You should actually come out and speak to us. Yes, Sohel, last word to you on this bizarre and ghastly story. Arnab, you know, you talked about influence in society. Here's the irony. The murder was planned. The murder was premeditated. Its discovery was accidental. That should say something about the times we live in. If that driver hadn't confessed, 
if he hadn't been caught for carrying illegal arms, you and I wouldn't be discussing this today. There'd be a certain brazenness with which life would carry on. And my point is, where is that first husband? Why did the brother not raise his voice when he had to? Why were the grandparents silent? Perhaps they were ailing and therefore silent. It is a conspiracy of silence, not yeah. only between friends and society. It's a I conspiracy of silence all around. And that is the worrying thing. Because this may but repeat can... itself with another family and we will never be the wiser. Well, I can only say this, that as Times Now did in the Arushi case, we will follow it. As Times Now did in the Sunanda Pushkar case, and we are following it, we'll follow it. As we did in the Tarun Tejpal case, we are following it, we follow it. And I don't care about the other channels, but as we have done in those, we'll follow up the Peter, this particular case as well. Uh, we are going to, we are going to follow up this story. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on chat number one on the news hour tonight. Thank you. Thank you.